There are three ways to get help with an Excel function. The first is in the screen tip. You can read the arguments we need for this PMT for a loan function, a rate, NPER, PV, and then in square brackets, FV and type. Well, if you're a finance person, you probably can interpret those correctly. But if you want some help, use the keyboard, Shift F3, and the function arguments dialog box opens. Rate is selected, and down here, it tells you exactly what you need, including annual rate divided by 4 if it's for quarterly payments. As we click through, the description changes. Now, FV and type are not bold. That means these arguments are not required if you know what the default is. Reading down here, we see 0 is the default. So if I leave that argument out, it uses 0. Looking at the screen tip, you can tell that an argument is the default because of the square brackets. The third way to get help is there's a hyperlink right in the screen tip. The blue function name, when we click, it opens up help with much more description, including examples at the bottom. Now, all of us know how to use the sum function, but the keyboard for the sum function is Alt equals. What? How come it didn't get all the numbers? Well, I might not know the reason, but I can redirect it. And I'm curious. I want to read about this number one argument, Shift F3. And sure enough, logical values in text are ignored. Click OK. So now we know why it stopped and why that didn't cause an error. So remember, you can get help with the screen tip, Shift F3, or the function hot link.